So today I'm talking about a P2422 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2422 code? With an evaporative emission control system, EVAP vent valve stuck closed. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars, they have what's called an EVAP system. And it basically takes the gas vapors from the gas tank and sends them back into the engine and get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seeing a problem with this, mainly with the vent valve. So it's going to have to be troubleshooting the why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad vent valve, could be a charcoal canister, could be in the wiring, could be a bad fuel tank pressure sensor could be a leak in the system somewhere and possibly the purge valve and one thing to mention is that if you have a newer vehicle 2010 and newer and you clear the code with like a scan tool the dashboard light will likely go off but the code will still be there what's called a permanent code and you have to go through what's called a drive cycle to fully clear the code this usually means driving at like 50 to 100 miles or so i made a video on that i'll put a link down below if you need to know more about what permanent codes are but basically just be aware that if you have a newer car after you fix the problem you will need to go through a drive cycle to fully clear the code. So the basics of what's going on with the EVAP system is that you're going to have a hose coming from the gas tank and all the gas vapor is going to come up through it. They're going to go to what's called a charcoal canister, which basically just stores the vapors when the engine's not running. Vent valve solenoid is usually located on the charcoal canister. This is what the onboard computer is seeing a problem with. And this basically just opens at different times and closes so that the onboard computer can test the whole system. And the onboard computer is getting all its information from the fuel tank pressure sensor. And if that goes bad, then there might not be nothing wrong with the system but the onboard computer thinks there is since the sensor's gone bad so that is something to keep in mind and then the gas vapors leave the charcoal canister and they go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve solenoid and this basically opens when the engine's running so all the gas vapors go into the engine and get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so that they don't escape and so the first thing to do with this code or any evap code really is to go check the gas cap since the gas cap is a part of the evap system and the evap system needs a seal or else it won't work properly the gas cap might be good but just go look at it be sure that that seal inside there's good it's not cracked or damaged or anything like that if it does look damaged then it's probably a good idea to replace it one thing to mention is that be sure to get an oem original gas cap for your particular vehicle since sometimes third party aftermarket gas caps they don't seal all the way so it's always a good idea to get an oem gas cap your particular vehicle if you replace it and then the next thing to go and check out is going to be that vent valve it's going to be located up and underneath the vehicle on the charcoal canister it's usually located on the charcoal canister sometimes it can't be separate but it's usually combined with the charcoal canister and it'll be located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere it's just going to be a simple valve that opens and closes it'll have like two hoses going to it or be attached to the charcoal canister with one hose and a wiring harness but all it is is just a simple valve that opens and closes when the computer tells it to but the first thing to go do is to check this out and test it or replace it there's different ways you go about testing it if you have a good obd2 scan tool you can enable it and disable it and you can hear it click and things like this but the first thing to go and do is to check out this whole charcoal canister and that vent valve check out all the hoses going to it and all the wiring and be sure everything looks good since this is what the onboard computer seeing a problem with so that's the first thing to go and check out and test or replace so if you check that all out and that all looks good you checked out this vent valve that looks good you checked out the charcoal canister that looks good you checked out all the wiring looks good there's no blown fuses or anything like that then the next thing to do would be to check for an evap leak somewhere inside of one of these hoses going around everything if you took it to a mechanic what they would do is they'd use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the evap system and wherever the smoke come out then they know that there was a leak there there's some low-cost smoke machines on amazon or ebay i'll put a link down below if you need one and there's also some diy smoke machines that you can make up yourself for like five or ten dollars there's some good youtube videos on how you can make one but the next thing to go and do is to check for an evap leak to see if any of these hoses are leaking because that can cause issues and so if you check for an evap leak and there's just no evap leak the next thing you could go and check is you could check out the purge valve even though the purge valve will usually give you other codes it is possible that there's something going on and the purge valve is just not working correctly and causing problems there's a quick easy way you could test the purge valve i made a video on that i'll put a link down below if you need to check that out this will be located inside the engine compartment up on top of the engine somewhere it'll have two hoses and a wiring harness but next thing is go check out the purge valve and so if you check all that out and that all looks good the only thing really left is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor and it might have failed and there might not be no problem with the system but the onboard computer thinks there is since that sensor is just sending out bad data so the next thing to do is go test or replace that fuel tank pressure sensor and this sensor is usually located on the fuel pump. It can be located differently, but quite commonly it is on the fuel pump. But the next thing to do would be to go test or replace that fuel tank pressure sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a video on how you go about fixing a P2422 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.